Hi there, I'm Coach Amanda. Welcome to Food Tip Tuesday. Welcome to Food Tip Tuesday. If you'll notice, my best pal Logan has a stand-in today. Aww. Logan is at school, but it's a good thing because I actually chose aloe vera as our topic for the day. The reason that it's good that Logan is not here is because aloe vera can be very sharp. These little spikes will get you and it's probably not the best thing to have little kids help you with. The second reason that it's okay that Logan's not with me for this segment is that aloe has, it's edible by the way, I know that there's lots of great topical properties that um, can improve your skin, but it's also something that you can eat. But it has no flavor if it's um, accessed correctly, the fruit of the plant. So basically what we're gonna do today is select a leaf that is flat or curved outward. Now, as you can see, this one's pretty flat. What I don't wanna select in an aloe leaf is one that is concave or curved in. That's gonna be a little bit more of a bitter flavor. By the way, this cost me about $1.50 at my local farmer's market. And again, it shouldn't taste like anything. So how do we get that fruit out of there? First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, of course, rinse off the germs from everybody at the farmer's market. So let's go do that now. The next thing we wanna do, step two, is to remove the spikes off the sides with either a knife or a veggie peeler. can hit it twice if you think they're still there. And what this also does is basically open up the aloe. If you can see that right there, you can actually start to get to the gel. I'm already getting a little bit of a gooey feeling from the edges, but what I wanna do now is kind of cut this into manageable sections. I wanna cut the top off that looks not quite so vibrant and green. And then I wanna cut off the bottom. So the bottom part of the plant is where the latex or the yellow section is that's not necessarily a poisonous toxin. However, it is known to be a laxative. So unless you're using this for that purpose, you probably don't wanna put it in your everyday smoothie. Okay, my knife's not sharp enough. <laughs> there we go. Tip of the day, cut from the top down. <laughs> So now you can see, this is the edible part in here. It's nice and clear. What I suggest doing next is cutting it into manageable sections so that it can be peeled apart. And at my top of my plant, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of gel, maybe a tiny bit, but I'm just gonna put that off to the side. I don't think it's necessary to keep that. Um, I have read that it is valuable to soak your aloe in water and that will get any of that latex or that yellow part off for at least four hours. I used cold water. I, I didn't see anything about the temperature of the water, but it's probably a good idea to soak it for a little while. Then you wanna take the two ends of the plant. I'm actually gonna get a smaller knife. Then you wanna take the two ends of the plant and split them and sort of fillet up. And pull them apart. Just like that. It's kinda gooey. If you have a thick part of your plant like this, you can score it into little boxes and then pull those little, little cubes, 
if you if you will um, and use those for your um, products because those are great to freeze by the way this can be frozen for like eight months or so in a ziploc bag in your freezer that's the best way to store it because you're probably going to only eat about a tablespoon a day you don't want to overdo it with this about a tablespoon a day so obviously i'm going to get much more than that out of this so i want to keep it fresh so storing it in a ziploc freezer is a good idea um, or you can use a spoon you can also use a spoon and spoon it out so scoring it would be like this and popping those little cubes off see those little cubes or you can kind of scoop it off and there's a couple of your cubes now what are the uses for this? This is gonna be something that you can hide. If you're still sensing a flavor or you're a texture sensitive person, this is something that you can put into smoothies or protein shakes. Um, if you do like the flavor and you do sense it a little bit and you wanna enhance that, um, a drink, an aloe drink with um, water and lemon and honey is a good option. This is also something that can be mixed in with yogurt and fruit, um, possibly like a mango. And last but not least, you can also mix this into salads, especially when you have these nice little fresh cubes that might be cold and uh, mix really well with your greens. So the benefits of aloe are great. You get vitamins C, E, and B12. This is a great product for your digestion. It boosts your immune system. It's an antibiotic. And last but not least, it can reduce your cholesterol and lower your blood pressure. So I hope that this was helpful for you today and that you enjoy your aloe and we will see you again next week on Food Tip Tuesday.